Eric Schoenstein, let's talk about some of your favorite growth names in the Jensen Quality Growth Fund. We'll start off with ADP. Since it's a big jobs number week, the jobs number coming out on Friday, why do you like ADP? Well, we really like it because of its core competitive advantages. It's obviously a payroll processor, but it also does human resource planning and other things. And it's really the, the network effect that they have develops into some very high switching costs. It's very difficult to get rid of a company like ADP once you've become an entrenched customer. And they've really been able to drive a lot of cost out of their, out of their processes to help them deliver very efficient earnings and cash flow streams. Wages obviously are a big driver for them because that means more employment growth and more employment growth is good for their business. It's really just a very steady uh, company that fits all the things that we like at Jensen. All right. Well, Microsoft is another stock you like. That's steadily moved up. It's almost at $60 a share. It's taken a long time to get near 60. Will it break through by the year end perhaps? You know, we don't usually make predictions on when our prices are going to hit a particular target or not. I do think Microsoft has some very nice momentum from the standpoint that the cloud offerings that they have continue to drive a lot of their growth, which matches up nicely with the traditional products they have around software and services to service the enterprise business model. And I think the cloud component of that is driving a, a fair amount of top line opportunity for them that I think can continue to be an underpinning for driving the stock higher. Whether it gets to 60 or not, we'll see what the timing is. All right, you're also a fan of United Health Group. The thing we keep hearing about United Health Group is that uh, they're pulling out of Obamacare in certain states and certain areas. Talk about the stock. You know, I think it's actually a very different company from the reflection of what you, you talk about with Obamacare. That, that component of their business is really quite small. Uh, you know, they service 85 million customers plus, and, and that is not, you know, really impacted much by the Obamacare piece. That's really more of a cost play. What we like about of, of, uh, United Health is that they have such a dominance in their size and their scale that it just sort of puts together some very nice competitive advantages around cost and their networks of services that they can bring. And they also have an advantage from the standpoint that the data that they can garner from all of the health records and the interactions with those 85 million lives that they cover gives them the opportunity to drive a lot of value-added services that we think can be, an, again, an underpinning for good stock opportunity. All right, and then finally, 3M. What's going to take the post-it maker to a higher level? It's up at 14% so far this year. Clearly, it's, it's performing well. Yeah, and I think it's a signal that, or a sign of a company that in the industrial space, which can be a lot more cyclical, you know, when you have the core underpinnings that they have in terms of material sciences and process technologies and then very good branding activity, that's a competitive advantage that can withstand some of the cycles that you typically see in the industrial space. And I think that that has really helped them, and I think it'll continue to drive growth higher for them globally. All right, well, thanks a lot for coming on to talk about it, Eric. Thank you. And thank you for watching The Street.